traveling is one of the best ways to experience another culture and learn about another way of life. The process of immersing yourself in an environment that has a very different set of values, beliefs, and norms than the society you're used to can, however, cause something called culture shock. Culture shock is something that unfolds over several different stages. In the first stage, sometimes known as the honeymoon stage, one is very likely to just focus on the positive aspects of the new society and to think that it might actually be better than the one you're used to. Eventually, however, you will inevitably experience a state of frustration, where something about the new society you're in just doesn't quite fit with what you're used to. Maybe the food doesn't taste as good, or maybe you just commit a series of faux pas without meaning to. With enough time and effort, you should eventually reach a state of adaptation, where you start to understand the protocols and norms of the society that you've traveled to, and you start to be able to navigate the society and do all of the things that you want to do effectively. With enough time, you should also reach a state of acceptance, where the new society that you've entered actually does start to seem normal to you, and you unconsciously start to perform the norms and adhere to many of the values in the society that you're now a part of. If you've spent enough time in another society that you've gone through all of the phases of culture shock, you may find that upon returning home to the culture you grew up in, that you actually start to feel almost like a stranger in it. That which was once familiar is now unusual. Although culture shock can be a mentally and even physically uncomfortable experience, it's nevertheless a valuable thing to go through. After traveling to a culture very unlike your own, you start to learn some of the many different ways that human beings can live well together.